Hello! Uh, I wanted to show you a, a really quick and easy way to import brushes into uh, Manga Studio 5. Unfortunately, there's not a real simple way built into the program um, similar to Photoshop, and I hope they fix that in Manga Studio 6. Uh, but once you figure this out, it's not that uh, difficult. So we're going to take the Manga Studio 5 brushes by Brian Allen that you just purchased. Thank you. I'm going to open that up. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to open up Manga Studio or Clip Studio Paint. Same program. Uh, I like to keep my brushes organized, so what I would do in this case when getting a new set of brushes is make a, a totally new group. So to do that, I'm just going to take a brush that already exists doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to copy it. And let's call this Oops. Brian Allen brushes. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is drag this into the tool menu. And when you click on this, the only brush that's in it is the one we just created. You can do things like, uh, oops, there we go. So now what I want to do, I have all these different categories of brushes, um, ink brushes, paint brushes, texture, pencil. So what I want to do first is uh, make new groups for each of these. So we'll start with the inks. So you can actually just change this first tool. Oops, I'm sorry. So click here and say settings of subtool group. Change that to ink. All right. And we can actually, we will eventually delete this brush, but if you delete it now, I think it's going to delete the whole group. Let's check that out. Yep, we do not want that. So I'm going to have to do that again. that over here. Okay, so now what we do, other, okay, so if you don't do the shortcut I'm about to show you, you would have to do this, which will kill you. You import each subtool one at a time by going to this menu, so you can't select all of them at once. So that would be a nightmare. What you do instead is open up your finder window. Um, in Windows, it's e it works the exact same way. Grab the first category, which is ink, select them all, and then while they're still selected, go back carefully and open up Clip Studio Paint or Manga Studio, grab them, and drag them in. So here they all are, and we're going to delete that first one there, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to make a new category, and I wish there was just a, you know, a menu option that says new category. The only way to really do that is first you make a new tool. Let's call it pencils. And then you drag it up here, okay? So basically what you're doing is separating those brushes, but I'm going to use that first tool as sort of a uh, placeholder for a new category. So then I go back here to Pencil, grab them all, go back to Clip Studio Paint or Manga Studio and drop them in. And then we're going to delete that first one because that first one isn't really a real tool, it's just sort of a placeholder. Okay, um, then I'll do it one more time. So let's just create a new random tool, let's call this Texture click and drag it up here, open it up, go back to the zip folder, grab all the brushes, go here, drag them over, sometimes it takes a little while depending on the size of the brushes, and we'll delete that first one there. 
All right, so uh, the reason that I really like to do this is uh, I have so many brushes and they all have different uh, different uses, I guess. I like to keep them separated because um, otherwise it just becomes a huge mess. And I also, more importantly, what I'll do then now is in my uh, shortcut settings, if you go to tool, whenever you add a new group, that new group will now be listed here. So you can open it up and you can see we have all my inks, all my pencils, all my textures, and you can make a shortcut. So I, I don't know, just say I. Uh, P. And T. Um, so I have a I have these hot keys programmed so that whenever I hit that button it just automatically switches to that tool um, which is really helpful because a lot of times when I'm using the pencil I'll also switch back and forth between a pencil tool and a shading tool and I can just do that very quickly by keeping them in groups like this so there you go thanks